How did it get on? All good. We got everything we needed. Uh, did the doctor say anything about the results? Dr. Wall's looking at the scans now as a matter of urgency. As soon as there's anything to tell, she'll come and see you. Can we stay with him? Of course. Come with me. Uh, do you want to stay here? We don't want to overcrowd him. Yeah, sure. Uh, hiya. Oh. I just thought I'd pop in and see if the little fellow was all right. Uh, he's just had an MRI. Thought there'd be a waiting list for that. Oh, no. Now he's an impatient. They'll fast track him. But why the urgency? Are they worried? It's good that they're being thorough. Oh, and Dr. Ward will explain everything. It's not looking too good, is it? Have you looked at the scans now? Yes. You know what's wrong? Well, we did pick up some changes at the back of Oliver's brain, in the occipital lobe. Well, what does that mean? Was he born with that, or...? We can't be sure why. Well, could it have been caused by the seizures? Well, actually, it's probably the other way around. The changes in the occipital lobe are probably causing the seizures. Well, why would it change now? Has he had a bump to the head, or...? Well, to get a clearer picture, we'll need to run some more tests. The next step is genetic blood tests. You think it could be genetic? Well, there's nothing like that in my family. It couldn't be myotonic dystrophy, could it? I mean, I've been tested for it, I haven't got it, but my dad has. Well, it's not how MD usually presents, so it's highly unlikely that's the cause. So what are you testing for, exactly? Basically, any genetic mutations. As soon as there's any new information, I'll come and speak to you. so it's here when he wakes up. Where's the Anne and Steve? Dr Ward's office. She's uh, taking them through the test results. It's tough seeing him like this. I know he's not my flesh and blood, but... I love him like he was. It might not be as bad as we think. Oh, exactly. Consultant might be giving him great news right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but the results of the test we've carried out today have given us cause for concern. The indications are that Oliver's condition could be more serious than we first suspected. Well, are we still looking at epilepsy or something else? Well, the seizures have probably been brought on by the underlying disease. The results of the MRI, along with the initial blood tests, are leading us to believe it's more likely that Oliver has a genetic disease. You can still help him, though, can't you? You can still make him better. Well, it's impossible to say at the moment. I, I know it's frustrating, but we are going to need to run some more tests. Well, you said it's a genetic disease. Well, like what? Well, we've examined his blood, and a substance called lactate is higher than it should be. Also, we mentioned the changes in his occipital lobe. Well, what does that mean, exactly? It means we have to consider a diagnosis of mitochondrial disease. Never heard of it. Well, as I say, more tests will confirm this one way or the other. Well, what exactly is it, this disease? Well, mitochondria are responsible for creating the energy needed to sustain life and support organ function. What happens if it goes wrong? We, we can discuss the details once we get a definitive diagnosis. One thing I would ask, is that you stay off the internet. There's a lot of misinformation out there and I can answer any questions you may have. Sorry, I, I know it's a lot to take in. We'll, we'll carry out more tests this week and the situation should become clearer soon. <laughs> 